Bro, so I had to take a shit at school today, and not no regular shit, one of them crazy shit, different type of color like a rainbow type of shit. And I'm not insecure about nothing, I don't feel bad about nothing, the only thing was, y'all don't know true pain. God damn! It was bad enough I had to work up the courage to tell my brain, it's okay, we at school, you gotta shit, nigga, go shit. Bro, when I got to the bathroom, the vape fiends, the weed fiends, they refused to leave so I could blow up the scene, bro. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm on a time limit. I only got so much time to be out the class to use the bathroom. And they procrastinating all my time by smoking. Bro, my stomach is bubbling. I'm about to blow the world up, bro. I'm about to go. I already done wasted like 30 minutes sitting in the bathroom. The clock has now started. I'm in pain, grabbing my knees, grabbing my feet, trying new positions to let this shit evacuate my body and like to be frank i can't blame nobody but myself because the night before i was eating nothing but spicy food but i kind of figured that i was gonna have to pay the consequence but i kind of figured it would be after the school day not during the school day so i didn't think it through all the way so i ended up paying the damn consequence most definitely and honestly nah i'm not even finna shit on myself because who created this j j j societal thing of it being embarrassing to poor in school. Now, the thing is, one thing that go through my head when I'm pooping in school is that somebody gonna peep over the stall and EDPB. I be worried about that. I be worried about getting posted on the ground. I be worried about a lot of things to be like, oh my God, he shouldn't believe it. The main one letting the snoop come out at home. It's a lot of things that go into it. This is, nigga, I could put this on a tier list right now and talk about this because it's a lot of things that go into having a shit at school. Cause like if I was president, I'll advocate for taller stalls. The stall is only like two feet high. Niggas could sit on the toilet and see over the stalls. We need the stalls to touch the ceiling. Now, I don't know what school y'all go to. I don't know if y'all school got all that. If y'all do, nigga, y'all lucky. My stalls at my school, they not that short as I'm making them seem, but dog. I don't feel comfortable knowing another nigga can see my legs while I'm sitting on the schnookum dookums, bro. Well, I mean, while I'm taking the schnookum dookums. Y'all gotta learn the terminology of poo, bro. It's schnookum dookums. Peep the scenario. You in class sitting next to your homeboy. The class dead silent. Y'all doing y'all schoolwork. Chilling. I hope I hit the mic. I'm sorry. Chilling. Next thing you know, keep in mind, it's silent. Next thing you know, all you hear is. You know what that is? That's your stomach, cuh. That's all the food that you ate last night coming back out for revenge, cuh. That's your fault now, cuh. So now, you ask to use the bathroom, but they got seven to eight people in front of you. What do you do in that situation? Because you're not walking out of class, let's be honest. You're not like that. You're not walking out of class. Your mom going to beat your ass. She going to be like, you shouldn't eat all that damn food. Let's be real. If you got a chill ass mama like that, I love to hear it. Not me, <laughs> not me at all. So that's just the scenario. <laughs> if you like black women, keep liking them. If you don't like black women and you like something else, EDP gonna take your butt. Peace. Two sides going crazy.